Wine TV. Hello, everybody. Welcome to Elite Wine TV. Hello everybody, welcome to Elite Wine TV. I'm your host, Mark Fusco, here for another edition of the show. Yeah, I've been lazy for the past, I don't know, like month and a half, haven't done a show. Um, didn't do the green screen tonight, it's late. So I gotta knock out some episodes. We're gonna do one wine per show for the next three weeks. Then we got Halloween, I'm psyched about that. Then I'll be in Napa. So if I do my, if I do all this right, I'll have a couple shows, probably do the same thing, one wine per show, while I'm in Napa, so I'll at least have something to uh, to have going. And then uh, when I get back from Napa, I might, because I'll be getting back and I have to go right to work as soon as, I, as, soon as that's done, I'll probably take a week off. I don't know if I'll take a week off, because right after that is Thanksgiving. So the Napa shows probably won't start until the first week of December. So if you're one of the wineries I'm about to visit, um, Please note that you'll the, the the shows won't probably start until the first week of December, or I might you, you I might catch you like right after I get back. Well, it really just depends on how much time I have to edit everything. But um, so we got that most of December uh, and January is going to be the Napa wineries. Um, of course, we'll have the Christmas special, the the New Year's Eve special. We'll get into February. Um, so I think right the week but the week before. Valentine's Day will might be the last winery. If not, there'll be like one more after Valentine's Day or after the week of Valentine's Day. All right, so that's all the housekeeping, real quick. Uh, thank you for everyone who's been watching the chat, the uh, the Chardonnay. I'm sorry, the Cabernet Day. I know it was pretty crappy uh, audio and video, but that's what Google did. I mean, I'm not trying to blame Google, but that's how Google Hangouts look and sound. Um, even though I'm using high def camera, um, the the audio should have been just fine. So, um, but it's still the streaming quality. Anyway, um, let's get into the wines real quick. All right, so the first wine up, um, speaking of Cabernet Day, this was the wine that was suggested to me uh, when I went to the wine shop for a Cabernet-based wine. I said, well, let's do something Bordeaux. Uh, it has to be Cabernet Sauvignon based, unless there's gonna be like a 100% like Cab Franc wine or you know something like that, which would be right bank. Um, or possibly right bank. Um, not too many of those, and I think the ones that are around are pretty expensive. So, um, so this was suggested. I got home, found out that the majority grape in this one is Merlot. Makes sense, it is from the right bank. So let's get right into it. This is the 2001, we got some age on this, uh, La Vieille Cure, or Cure, I'm not sure. Um, you know, my, my first inclination is to try to figure out what this means. Um, Viel is old. I know that much because you'll have the old vines. So the old cure. I mean, I, I don't know if the word cure or C-U-R-E in French is anything other than cure. So the old cure. So this might be, you know, when this, oh, this is not it. Ah! <laughs> You know what? We're going to do that wine. Might have helped if I looked at the label first. That is too funny. You know what? No, we're not going to. I've already poured the wine. I'm not going to restock. The old cure is over here. Uh, we're going to do that. I think that's the second wine. It's next week's wine. All right. This is the 2011 Montes Cabernet Sauvignon and Carmenere. 70% uh, Cab, 30% uh, um, Carmenere. I got this wine from one of those underground cellar, uh, <laughs> underground cellar um, deals. Now here's the funny thing. Um, this label is not the label when you look, when you look at the underground cellar uh, deal or when you go to the website for Montes or anything else. I don't know where this label comes from 
but this is the correct wine. It would be the, considered the Montes Limited Selection. Um, it's the same wine. Montes is an extremely well-known uh, producer of uh, uh, wine from Argentina and Chile. Um, he's like, like the winemaker in South America, okay? Um, pretty much. I won't go through it because we've done other Montes uh, wines before, so I won't go through the whole history of it. But this is um, technically their limited selection. Uh, now, when I bought it from Underground Cellar, the deal was a $14 deal. So any of the wines that you got, you only paid $14 for. You could have gotten the $14 wine or you could have gotten a wine that was a lot more. I think, actually, I think the Monte's Purple Angel was the top one you could get. And that was pretty pricey. Anyway, this normally retails for about $18, or according to Underground Seller, it does. And um, yeah, let's get right into it. So right off the nose, there's something like stinky and, and meaty about this. I don't know if there, I don't know if there was anything, I don't know if there could be, might be something wrong with the wine. I don't know. Um, I'm trying to think. All these corks. Yeah, this cork was fine. Yeah, this cork, I don't think it had any issues when I opened it up. A couple other ones, we might have some issues on the other wines later this month. But there is, there really is something kind of stinky, musty to it. Makes me a little worried. I mean, mu not musty in old dust, but musty as in bad. So we'll we'll see how it tastes. Well, the initial taste doesn't taste bad. Let's kind of go back through the, through the palate. So I want to make sure I wasn't hitting that microphone too hard. Like I said, it was kind of meaty, but kind of musty. And I, honestly, it was like a vegetal quality to it. Now it seems like it's blown off, so maybe just the initial, um, the initial pour, because it was almost sulfur-like, you know. So maybe just being blown off. On the palate, it's a little bit of a little bit of fruit there. Um, not a fruit bomb by any means, um, but not extremely not extremely earthy. It's kind of got a little bit of a balance between the two. Um, it's red fruits. I don't know. Um, I wouldn't say necessarily raspberry. Maybe maybe a bit of sour cherry. Okay. Maybe a bit of sour cherry to it. Um, There's a bit of fuzziness to it, a little bit of fuzzy tannin, kind of that fleshiness. I mean, Oh, it does say on the top thing, so limited selection. Just notice out on the capsule. Um, it's okay. I hate to say, I mean, it's all right. There's nothing about it that really screams, you know, buy me. Um, I don't know if this might have been, I'm not saying it's necessarily a bad bottle, but um, I mean, the Monte's label is known for quality. I mean, they, they, they make good wine. So um, I'm not saying it's a bad wine. But like I said, it has that little bit of sour cherry, a little bit of earthiness to it. Um, tannins are medium, uh, nothing crazy. 
Um, acidity, I'd say, is medium plus. I got a good mouth water. Um, it's, it, it could be something where I really need food, but there really is kind of a sourness to it. Um, I, not, and I don't mean tartness. I mean like sour. Um, it could be a bad wine. It could be a bad bottle. It's not necessarily undrinkable, but I don't, I don't like it. Like I said, I'm, I'm trying to say that it might be something wrong with the bottle itself, but, and I mean, I like Cabernet. I like Carmenere. So this is not like I'm drinking some, you know, unusual wine from it, from an unusual place or even a normal place or typical place with just unusual grapes. It's almost like a, that's weird. It was almost like it's this dry mustard quality. Yeah, I mean, there's just something. I think it's a bad bottle. I'm not going to evaluate it as something to buy or not buy. I think it's a bad bottle. Sorry, I mean, I, 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 I can't remember the last time I had a bad bottle of wine. Um, and this is the funny part. I figured this one was going to be the good bottle. The other two I'm a little bit concerned about. Um, maybe not the VL Cure. That one I may not be too concerned about, but it is, you know, it's pretty old. Uh, the other one I'm a little bit concerned about. Inconclusive. Let's put it that way. Um, it's, uh, it's 20 bucks about, 18 to $20 retail. Uh, the Monte's name is a good name, so I mean, you typically are gonna get a good bottle. This could just be, I could have just had a bad bottle of wine. It happens. I've done 300 plus episodes. I can't remember the last time I've had a bad bottle. I mean, I've had some other bottles that weren't, weren't that great. Um, uh, other bottles I probably should have called bad, and I didn't. I'm gonna say this is uh, not showing well. How about that? Inconclusive as to whether I would suggest it or not. Other than to say that typically with this brand, because I know this brand very well, not just from doing reviews, but in, in my professional life, it is a very well-respected brand, usually puts out really good wines. I've never had a, I've never had a bottle of this sent back uh, in, in places I've worked. So we're going to chalk it up to that. All right, so um, we'll move on to the next wine here. Well, move, we'll, we'll end this week's show. Sorry, a little bit of disappointment, but hey, it happens. Um, I want to thank everybody over the you know the past couple months watching all my stuff. I know I've been you know haven't produced a lot of uh, videos, trying to get back on track with that. Um, as always, thank you for stopping by. Uh, click the link below to find more information about Montes. Um, any of the ads that might interest you, check them out. Hit the donate button over here. Uh, send me a little bit of cash to be able to buy some more uh, more wine. Hopefully not off bottles. Friend me up above. And uh, to find me up on the social medias, on the intertubes. And uh, we'll see everyone again next time. <laughs> <laughs>